In this video, I'm going to talk about trigger reset, specifically as it relates to the Glock pistol. If you're not familiar with trigger reset, or you're not familiar with and want to know more about exactly what happens inside the pistol during trigger reset, then I encourage you to unload and clear a Glock and follow along with me. First what I'm going to do is ensure my pistol's clear. Then I'm going to demonstrate trigger reset. And then I'll disassemble my Glock just to the extent where I can show you the internal parts that are involved with trigger reset. And specifically the parts of the pistol that allow you to hear and feel that audible click during trigger reset. So to begin, no magazine in the magazine well and no round in the chamber. To perform trigger reset, you squeeze the trigger as though you're firing around and hold the trigger to the rear. So the slack's taken out, trigger's depressed and held to the rear. After this, a bullet fires, the slide cycles, and then you slowly release the trigger and you will both hear and feel an audible click. And there it is. From this point, I don't have to take up any extra slack in the trigger to re-engage my target. I'm right there. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and disassemble this again just to the extent where I can show you the inner workings. Uh, to show you in detail what's going on with the trigger assembly, I'm going to grab the trigger here and I'm going to pull it forward, essentially resetting the trigger. Now, for the gun to fire, what I'm going to show you here is the trigger bar. It's going to come up from the trigger and into this metallic piece, into this bar that goes around the inside of the frame, and this bar twists into this metallic cruciform shape right here. It's cruciform because it looks like a cross. Another key component that I want to have you pay attention to is this metallic piece here that sticks up, which is called or part of the connector. So when you pull the trigger to fire the gun, notice how this portion of the trigger bar moves rearward and then drops down. Drops down. So again, it moves rearward and drops down. By this dropping down, what's happening when the trigger is at rest is the firing pin lug as seen here on the bottom of the slide the firing pin lug here as you can see is beveled it's a little longer or taller on one end and then bevels down on the back end this face here of this firing pin lug because the fire is part of the firing pin which runs through this channel this lug the face of that rests on the back of this portion of the trigger bar. So when that drops down, it releases that firing pin, which is under tension and allows it to strike the primer. Upon doing that, the gun goes bang, the slide cycles towards the rear. Now, when it cycles towards the rear, there's a channel right here underneath the slide. Here's the back of my slide. This channel here has a piece of mass that extends out into the channel. That portion of the mass right there, when it's sliding back, it actually catches here on this connector and manipulates it outward like such. 
in doing so that will lift this portion of the trigger bar again I'll simulate it I'll just press it back down and with my tool just to get my hand out of the way notice how this portion here for the trigger bar pops back up there you go so that pops up when this connector is manipulated by the slide going rearward when the slide comes back forward that lug portion of the firing pin catches again on the back side of this trigger bar and remember you've got the trigger held back to the rear when you slowly release that trigger keep a close eye here on this connector piece and then this portion underneath it of the trigger bar and what's going to make that audible click is this connector slapping against the trigger bar that's underneath it so watch as I slowly release the trigger you see that bar move down and the connector slaps against it again I'll press this in to re-simulate as I slowly release the trigger you see that bar moving down and there's where you get the metallic click of trigger reset